Welcome, and thank you for your interest in the Pike County Tick-Borne Diseases Task Force and the recently completed countywide study. The task force started in 2014 as a small group of concerned citizens, originally called the Pike County Lyme Disease Task Force. It has grown into an initiative of the Pike County Commissioners and was officially named the Pike County Tick-Borne Diseases Task Force in May of 2015. The task force is comprised of medical professionals, educators, legislators, citizens, county commissioners, and county staff. The task force is committed to the awareness and prevention of tick-borne diseases through outreach, research, health, education, and legislation to ensure Pike County residents and visitors have the most up-to-date information and resources available. Through these partnerships and the continuing effort of its members, the task force was awarded a 2019 Environmental Partnership Award by the Pennsylvania Environmental Council and the Northeast Pennsylvania Environmental Partners. The task force meets monthly on the fourth Thursday at 10 a.m. Volunteers and interested members of the public are always welcome. The task force initiated the Pike County Tick-Borne Diseases Baseline Study to assess the disease and infection rates of residents and visitors. With this information, the task force can better educate the public and medical professionals on the risks of ticks and tick-borne diseases. With the support of the Pike County Board of Commissioners, the task force contacted the Dr. Jane Hoffman Wildlife DNA Lab, located at East Stroudsburg University, for an estimate on the collection and testing of 1,000 black-legged ticks for seven disease-causing organisms called pathogens they are known to possibly carry. With funds from the county, Delaware Valley Educational Foundation, and Lyme Disease Association Incorporated, the task force was ready to conduct this first-of-its-kind study. Pike County was divided into a grid of nine sections, with three to five tick collection sites selected per section. Milford Borough was tested as a tenth section, with three collection sites. Only black-legged ticks in the nymph or adult life stages were tested for diseases. Any tick species other than black-legged ticks that were found were collected and accounted for, but were not tested for diseases. These included the following species, dog tick, lone star tick, and Asian longhorn tick. Due to the heightened activity of ticks in the spring and fall, the study was conducted from the spring of 2018 through the fall of 2019. Dog ticks were only found in the springtime as they are not active in their life cycles in the fall. A total of 1,051 black-legged ticks were collected during the study, and 1,003 dog ticks were collected. It was reported that one Lone Star tick was found, and one Asian Longhorn tick was also found in Pike County. As this graph illustrates, there was a fairly even split between female and male ticks. Sections B3 and B4 have different amounts of ticks collected due to the total acreage and population of residents within those sections. Section B3 covered the most territory, while Section B4 covered the least amount of territory and had the lowest population. The black-legged ticks were tested for the following pathogens. B. Bertifieri, A. Phagocytophilum, B. Microti, Bartonella species, Mycoplasma species, B. Miyamotai, Powassan virus lineage 2. As the graph illustrates, 38.9% of the tested ticks were positive for B. burdeferi, Lyme disease, making Lyme disease the most pervasive finding. Bartonella species, Bartellinosis, was detected in 18.9% of the ticks, making it the second highest finding. For more information on these results, please visit the task force website at www.pikepa.org tick. There is a common misconception that only female black-legged ticks carry and transmit diseases. Although male ticks are not typically associated with disease transmission, more than half of the male ticks tested were positive for carrying a tick-borne disease. Of the female ticks tested, a majority were also positive for carrying a tick-borne disease. Overall, of the 988 ticks tested, there was a high prevalence for a tick-borne disease. Co-infections are identified by a tick carrying two or more pathogens, also called diseases. A co-infection can complicate a medical diagnosis and treatment and increase the severity of disease symptoms.
The results from this study indicate that 123 of the 988 ticks tested were carrying more than one pathogen. The highest co-infection observed was Lyme disease and anaplasmosis. Once again, the Pike County Tick-Borne Diseases Task Force would like to thank the Lyme Disease Association Incorporated, the Delaware Valley Educational Foundation, Pike County Bar Association, and the Pike County Commissioners for funding this project. If you are interested in attending a task force meeting, have any questions, or would like additional information, please contact Brian Snyder at bsnyder at pikepa.org or by phone 570-296-3500. Finally, please don't forget to visit the task force website at www.pikepa.org. Thank you for watching. We hope this was a very informative presentation.